Hello everyone, it's week three of the Mixed Media Experiments prompt in the Facebook group The Mixed Media Emporium and the challenge for this week is Wax Resist. Now I'm going to be using some of the kids Crayola wax crayons here. So I've pulled out three colours um, to start off with a white, um, a, a blue and kind of a, a brownie red, burgundy red. And I've got two pieces of mixed media paper that I'm going to be working on, a white and a black. This I do believe is 250 GSM paper. Um, so let's get started. Which one shall I start off by doing first? I think I'm going to do this one here. And all I'm going to do is draw myself um, a very, very basic tree design like this using my wax crayon. Now the crayon will act as a resist to any um, paints I decide to add a bit later. So I'm just going to draw myself some branches and you can see just being really wavy um, about this. Try not to overthink it if you decide to do this kind of um, thing. The more random um, you are, the better the look, I think anyway. So pull some branches um, off this like so. Let's have a nice tree. I don't know why I decided to use burgundy, but I just thought it was um, a nice autumnal colour um, because things are starting to turn very autumnal here in the UK um, and I'm sure they are for many of you um, as well. So I'm just going to fiddle um, around with this until I get my basic tree shape that I'm happy with. That's my basic tree design. I've managed to break my wax crayon as well, so don't worry um, if that happens. And now I'm just going to bring in a couple of extra colours. I've got a blue and a lime green, and all I'm going to do is just go around my design really lightly like this. Just to give sort of like um, a leaf impression in the background. And you can see that some of the red is smudging and that's absolutely fine. That's OK. We'll come in with some of the blue as well. Just to add a second colour. Here we are. Just, just like this. I like how that, um, that looks. Just being really light about that. I apologise, somebody's um, texting me in the background. I'm going to add some yellow and some orange to this as well because what I'm going for is more autumnal colours. So let's add some yellow to this as well. You see that's looking better. I just love how that, how that looks. And we've got a bit of orange here as well that we can, we can add. Again, just pressing really lightly just on the side of my wax crayon. And these, as I say, are just the Crayola Kids Wax um, Crayons. So just adding a bit more here like this. I'm going to do the same with my um, black cardstock. So let's just draw my basic tree pattern here. Pressing quite hard with the wax crayon because this will act as the resist and then we'll have some branches off it like, like this and I'm going to fill my tree in in exactly the same way. Just being really loose and random about this. It's quite eerie looking in a way, isn't it? So fitting for, for Halloween actually, um, which um, you know I don't normally do not really my thing. So I'm just going to um, finish my tree and just blow off any of the crumbs that you get from your wax crayon. So I've got my basic tree shape for this one here and this time I'm going to use the reds for this one. The reds, the yellows and the oranges. So doing it in the same way, just going all around really lightly just on the side of the crayon here like this. You can probably barely, barely see it, but that's OK. Using some of that orange, some of the yellow, which might show up a little bit more. I know it's there and also this darker red, red here, which would just give the tree a really hazy effect. 
just like on this one here. I've got my two basic tree backgrounds. I'm going to start off with this one here. So let's just move the other one out of the way. And I'm just working on a piece of kitchen parchment paper. And I want to use some of my brusho powders. Um, I've got the Colorcraft brusho powders here. And let me just show you the box. They're a UK company. Um, I know many of you have got them. These are the brusho crystal colors. They're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to use the dark brown for this project here these are crystals um watercolor powdered crystals and let me just see if i can get the lid off that's what they look like um underneath they last a very very long time a little goes a very long way and you just poke a, a, a hole in the top using a pin and um all i'm going to do in fact what i shall do to start off with is just spray with some water and i'm just going to tap my watercolors on the top and these are multi-tonal they really are absolutely beautiful just look at these go and create a really lovely autumnal scene um, so we can spray some more on let's just um, get these going and you can see all those lovely colors and of course the wax crayon that I've used is acting as a resist um, so that lovely tree um, is just remaining in the background um, so I'm just going to play um, around with this, tapping more on as and where I think um, I need it. We've got greys in this, we've got turquoise, we've got orange. It really is just absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to grab um, a tissue. Oh, where's my tissue paper gone? So that I can mop up some of the excess where it's starting to pull. And I'm just going to heat set this with my heat tool had its first layer I just think I'd like to add another one as well so let's just reactivate this and come in with some more of these colors and you can just add as much or as little as you want it's so much fun to play with but you can do this with any type of watercolor you don't have to have um, brushos like how abstract that looks but I do want to make it stand out a bit more so I'm just going to add some of the blue just to add a bit of contrast so we can add this to some of the branches as well and that's just making that stand out a little bit better I love how that looks what fun is that and I do want to um, ink around the background as well um, just to add some kind of a border and finally I'm just going to rub over this with a tissue as well just to wipe any of the excess ink away that's covering the wax I think that's beautiful I love that very abstract um, very autumnal now for the black one I've just gone over this again with a few colors of wax crayons um, no point me going into this in any detail because you can't really see it but um, these are the colors that I've used um, in the same way that I did with this one this one here um, but this time I'm going to use some watercolor paints to go over the background so again the white wax will act as a resist um, and I've got my homemade watercolor paints that I made years ago um, I want to make some more of these using the mica powders that um, that Debbie gave me in Happy Mail. Um, so I'm going to use some of the bronze. Let's use some of this. Just look how gorgeous this um, shimmer is. What else shall I use? I've got um, some lovely aubergine colour as well. I have watered these down a bit. Now, most of these, as you can see, are nearly gone, um, but these have just been absolutely fantastic. And I made these um, a few years ago just using gum arabic and um, the mica powders and water, and that was it. And they've lasted me a very long time. I just absolutely love them. Look how gorgeous that looks. Oh, that is just so, 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 so pretty. I really like that. Um, do I want to add some of this um, blacky grey colour? Where's my spray water? Let's add some of that maybe um, as well. And perhaps a bit of gold. This might be a bit too dark. It might not, um, might not show up. Just experimenting um, here. And maybe a tiny bit um, of the bright gold. Oh, you see that? Oh, that's lovely. That's just beautiful. 
that's one that one's my favorite i love that so look what you can do with just a simple bog standard kids wax crayon and here are my two finished wax crayon resist um, pieces i just love that that was so simple quick and easy to do really effective now i just want to add a touch of treasure gold now my treasure gold was starting to get a bit thick so i added some of my solvent um, blending solution just to make it um, a bit thinner um, I did this a couple of days ago and that's worked an absolute treat and so I'm just going to add a tiny bit around the outside. This is Treasure Gold again. I got asked what this was the other day. In fact, it's on the lid. So Treasure Gold and the colour is Florentine. Um, oh gosh, not Prima. Who is it? Um, Pebio. Pebio do. Um, a very similar gilding paste. This is just gilding wax. Um, completely different to the Inca Golds. The Inca Golds dry up really quickly, whereas this stays really fluid. Um, it's solvent, um, solvent based, but Pebio do a very similar one because Treasure Gold um, is sometimes quite difficult to get hold of. So I'm just adding a tiny layer of that um, around the edge. I'm just going to do the same on this one here as well. Haven't used this in a while. I love my Treasure Gold, you know I do my signature, my trademark. And then I'll be back. So let me just show you what my cards look like now that um, the Treasure Gold has dried. So that's the one that was done on black cardstock. I love that. It's so beautiful. And this was the one that was done on white. Um, that just adds a really nice touch. If you've got Inca Gold, those would work, you know, equally as well. Any of your gilding wax type um, materials. Um, now, if you don't have any of the Crayola um, brand wax crayons, you can use the cheap ones from the pound shop. Also, your Tim Holtz distress crayons um, your prima wax crayons will work you know your oil pastels will work just as well um, and you know you don't have to use brushos either or metallic um, watercolor paints use whatever you have it really doesn't matter so I hope that you'll have fun experimenting with this technique and I you know look forward to seeing how everybody else decides to interpret it so don't forget to go and check out Kylie's video this week as I'm sure that she's um, come up with a complete different way of interpreting the wax resist technique um, but if you enjoyed my video as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below thanks for watching and take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now